Hello my Fireflies and welcome back to the Cyan Firefly. We're here on our second session of XCOM. Oh man, I'm already excited. Things are looking really cool for this game. Now, some more of you have requested to have soldiers put into our army. Now, I only had two additional slots open. So I gave it to Ollie and... Ironic Lee. Now, some of their specific requests couldn't be filled out. For instance, there is no long hair in this game, and this is the punishment for asking for long hair. I make you bald. You should have already realized that. There is base... These are soldiers. These are not fantasy fighters. They do not get the long flowing locks that you get in, for instance, Final Fantasy. These are military men. Long hair is a very bad idea. That's why none of the women have long hair either. So, yeah, don't make that request or I will make you bald. That goes for you as well. What was your name? Uh, I think Cameron or Basura asked for long hair as well. So, change your mind or you will be bald. <laughs> Alright, so... What did we do last time? Well, we went on a couple of missions, got some nice stuff. The new engineers arrived this morning, Commander. Yes, I'm well aware. Always glad to have more help down here. Shut up. Build facilities. We got an alien containment unit that we have all built up, which is a good thing to have. I believe we were working on research. Yes, for the arc thrower, so I can actually knock one of these aliens out and drag them back to base. Because of our alien containment unit. Alright, everything sounds good. I guess the only thing we really have to do... Well, let's see if there's anything, any buildings we can uh, build up first. Hmm. Getting another satellite uplink would not be a bad idea. It takes up a lot of power, but we kind of really need it. So, let's build a satellite uplink. And... Let's make a power generator while we're at it. Because more power is not something that we can really... Yeah, getting more power is definitely going to be an imperative because there's only so much you can do without it. Alright, so now we're completely broke. Let's head to the situation room, see if there's anything that we can sell off that we don't really need. Uh, sell a couple of sectoid corpses. Yes, I'm well aware I can afford to sell a couple of sectoids, though. Complete. Shut up. Alright. Let's jump back to the mission control room and scan for activity. Oop. Abductions. We're tracking several reported abductions via the Hologlobe. I've got the coordinates locked in. So we have... Bangalore in India, Cairo in Egypt, and Hamburg in Germany. I say we go for Hamburg because we really want more engineers. Engineers are a very big part of the game. They help you build some really important stuff later on. Alright. Sorry if you hear any uh, la sudden loud noises in the background. There are people moving around the house. Which is kind of a pain in the butt, but I'm dealing with it. Alright, who else do we have? Why does it say active one day? Alright, well. We've got a uh, nice rounded group now. Load out. Give you a med kit, is your support. And let's give you a med kit as well, because you're going to be on the front lines. You might not really have the ability to get back to a healer if you need it. Alright, so. Greggy, Lyat, Elizabeth, and Dorm. Uh, no, not Dorm. What's your name? Blotterin. Yeah, sorry. Alright, let's go.
Now, I'm probably going to be cutting this playthrough into segments, probably around 25 minutes each, simply because... Oop. Operation Rotting Flame. How does flame rot? Entirely sure. But yes, I'm probably going to be cutting this section into multiple parts, simply because it's going to be easier for me to release consistent content that way. I can't really record for like two hours every day and release a video that that's long. Not to mention, I really don't expect you guys to watch a two-hour video every single time I put it out. So it might take a little while to get through this game as a result, at least as far as posting footage on the channel goes, but we will eventually get through it. Alright. So I take it they're hiding out in this building. So let's bring Lyat up here. Sounds reasonable. Huh. I see nothing so far, but that doesn't mean anything. Alright, let's stick him on Overwatch. Alright, Elizabeth. Let's, uh, bring you straight to the door. Fortunately, you can't open it just yet, so we're going to stick you right here instead. Alright, let's position you on the window. Now, I had a theory. Yes, if you do switch to pistol rather than having the sniper rifle, you can still shoot and move with a sniper. So that's something important to take note of. Alright, so let's stick the pistol in your hand and stick you on Overwatch as well. And as for our support, we'll stick them on the other side of the door. There we go. Hmm... Oh, nothing yet. Alright. Elizabeth, if you would please breach the room. Thank you very much. Alright. I hear cars driving by, but I don't see any. Alright. Let's stick you in front of these pastries. That sounds like a good hiding place. Who knew? Delicious, fattening, and protective. Alright, can I get anybody on top of the building? Yes, actually, I can. Will it help me at all? Probably not, so let's avoid that for the time being. Alright, Greggy, please move inside. Thank you for not smashing a window. All right, let's get you next to this door over here. Oh, why'd you... Uh, oh, well. Now every sectoid in the area is aware that we're here. No big deal, I suppose. That didn't sound like a sectoid. What was that? Alright. I'm gonna just stick everybody on Overwatch this particular round. Just in case anything decides to walk through these doors. Open this door. Nothing? Really? Huh. Okay. Yep, there we are. They were just waiting for the right time. And there's one on top of the building. Of course there is. And then it scampered off. I have no idea why I did that, but... Oh well. Alright, take fire. 
Well, we completely missed, but we blew its cover. Uh, Greggy. Take it out. Nice job. With the sniper rifle. And he earned a promotion just from killing a sectoid. Okay. Alright, Elizabeth. I do believe that there was a sectoid running this way. What can you do about it? Looks like there's some secure cover this way. Granted, I don't know what we're going to be running into out here, so... Here's nothing. Alright, let's move up a little bit. Nothing still. Well, this is a dangerous situation. Alright, uh... Blotterin, do back her up. Stay behind that solid ca Oh, my! Yeah, please. No. Oh, Elizabeth. Oh. Well, that was certainly nasty. But I guess it really can't be helped. Alright, what can we do up here? Doesn't look like there are any aliens up here that we have to deal with immediately. So, let's just get on top of the building get some eyes up there. Well, hello. Even more sectoids. Now they're hiding down there. Okay. Well, we know where they are, at least. Um, Greggy. Definitely want to make sure you're up high, because you are our sniper. Alright. Move, move, move. Everybody. And as for you, bastard, how about a little bit of a shotgun to the face, huh? 100% chance to hit, 70% chance to critical. Good bye! As is only appropriate for somebody who shoots Miss Snow. Alright, let's put you over here and heal the wound. It's gonna hurt. You basically shot aerosol at her. I'm pretty sure she's not in any pain. There we go. Alright, Greggy. We need to get you a target. So, Lyats, if you'd be so kind to be the guinea pig. Can you hit them from over there? Oh, well, it looks like you can, but the question is, which one's the one doing the feedback loop? Hmm. Looks like it's that one. It's hard to tell with the way that the particle effects work. Alright, take aim. Blast the hell out of it. Yep, pick the right one. Thank you very much, Squatty Gazareth. Alright, and if you'd be so kind as to move up, Greggy. Switch to your sniper rifle while you're at it. Okay, let's get our support up. Keep him in full cover, because that is far superior. And... Elizabeth, if you'd be so kind to take the four. Nothing. Alright, well, Lyat needs to reload. Reloaded. Stick Greggy on Overwatch. And let's move our soldiers up a little bit, shall we? Okay, bring the support over here into full cover. So he's got that side of the building well taken care of. And let's get Elizabeth on top of the building if possible. Looks like that's actually very possible, so... Ooh, hello, sectoids. Well, hopefully the sniper will take a good shot. Uh, there we go! Nicely done! 
Ah, uh, way to go, Greggy. Saved Elizabeth's bacon there. Would have been the second time we would have had to heal her. Alright. Now here's a little con unconventional warfare. There are a bunch of enemies in the building across the uh, way. Let's gain some access to them, shall we? Lyat, if you'd be so kind, get us a nice firing hole. That's not what I meant. What was that sound? It was the sound of Lyat failing in a very spectacular fashion. Greggy, you've got a frag grenade. You do it instead. Maybe. There you go. Now we have a nice firing hole straight into that building. There we go. Alright, let's see you take aim and take him out then. That might be the last one. Oop. Didn't kill it though. Alright, Elizabeth. What can you do? Let's uh do a little running gun, shall we? Have you run straight down there? Or hop straight down through the window. That works too. And do it. Oh, right in the face. Another successful operation. Well, taken care of. Elizabeth got a little injured, but all is well. And we caused quite a bit of collateral damage, which is always good. <laughs> uh, seriously, you guys want me to protect the Earth? Alright. 